Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. Really excited for today's video. It's an unboxing video, clearly. Uh, the box is courtesy of Billy, so thanks so much, Billy. I really appreciate it. Um, so, in typical Billy fashion, I got an email. It had a picture of the tracking number, and then the beers showed up. Sorry, the box of beers showed up. Um, as per usual, I did not start opening this up off camera because I know people like the danger element of me using a knife and I'm very, very, very uncoordinated and cut myself frequently uh, on accident. And uh, yeah, that's why people tune in. It's funny, you watch the, um, you look at the analytics unboxing videos, the second I'm done using the knife, pfft, no, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> people couldn't care less about that. All right, so let's get it on the floor. Looks like I might have to talk about it again. So one of my favorite things that Billy's exposed me to, I'm having a look at the beer yet, is this meshy thing that um, Sierra Nevada uses. You can kind of see their logo there. I just, I love this. I don't know why. I'm like... I don't know. I'm like infatuated with such a simple thing. Um, like, is it were they boxes and they have a special machine that cuts them this way? You know, like the fact that they put their logo on there. And actually, I think it says pale ale. It does. It says pale ale. Anyway, thoughts to have in my head. Well, before I even look at the beer, I mean, it's wax sealed. Soon it's got to taste. You know, it's got to taste good. All right. So, not the stoic. A prized, potent, Belgian-style quad of stirring depth and complexity from Deschutes. This sounds up my alley. Um, not the Stoic. Ale brewed with pomegranate molasses with 15% aged in oak wine barrels and 15% aged in oak rye whiskey barrels. Holy crap, that sounds amazing. A virtuous return aged and sequestered in select oak casks. The result, a, a contemplatively brewed quad, one of my favorite styles, I, I added that part, uh, created in homage to all those who doubted the original. This unrepentant rendition is definitively not the Stoic. This is from 2005, holy crap, seven years old, and it was April 2000, I'm sorry, 2015, uh, April 2015, so it is uh, over seven years old, 12.1% ABV. I find that quad style beers age very well. What do we got? Founders Bottle Shop Series Belgian Twist. This is from earlier this year, a Belgian triple with a twist. This beautiful beverage is brewed with a substantial amount of blue agave nectar. Very cool. I actually just bought some for the first time ever to try it because uh, I want to know more like what that flavor tastes like. Um, so that's awesome. And then what beer did we get talking about it the other day? We got talking about agave. I cannot think of the beer right now. This would be so much better if I could. Um, highlighting and heightening the existing fruity notes and rounding out the sweet body of this golden straw colored triple. You know, I love the Belgian style ales. Oh, let's just do, oh yeah. The other one, they're all wrapped like this one was, except this one, so I saw what it was. I'm like, I gotta do this. 2019 Napa Parabola Vintage, number one. Imperial style aged in wine barrels, heck yeah. We all know I'm a big fan of the, and I'm getting lower on them, and there's some off camera, my regular problems of these boxed up Firestone Walker beers. Huge fan. And those, um, he said, Billy has been nice enough to send me a bunch of the um, cocktail inspired ones. Holy crap. Ooh, Alesmith. Ooh, Barrel Age Speedway Stout from this year, 2022. So I went to the brewery when I was out there in San Diego, I don't know, what is that, three years ago at this point, um, and had a pour of this. I think I, re I think I reviewed it from the brewery. Um, really good beer. So that's awesome to have it in a bottle. Ooh, and this has coffee. Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels with coffee. 13.3% ABV. 
I mean, you know, <laughs> I love coffee. I love big stouts. I love big stouts, Asian bourbon barrels. I love big stouts, Asian bourbon barrels with coffee. I love these things separately. I love bourbon. I love these things together. I love some of these together and some of these not. I love uh, uh, coffee, Asian bourbon barrels. I think I got every variant of that. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Oh my God, that's awesome. like which one am I I don't know which one I'm most excited about at this point and I think Billy when I emailed him to say thank you emailed me back he said two of these are like two of his favorite beers um and I, I I'm wondering if it's these two um all right so Moonlight Brewing Company Rhythmic Chaos Barley Wine Style Ale a showcase of our equipment and process we boiled this barley wine for eight hours in over, I'm sorry, in our 660,000 BTU direct fire copper kettle for a profound level of kettle caramelization that presents itself as plum jam. I love when barley wines have that plum note. Uh, uh, a marina, cherries, uh, a marina, right? I think that's how you pronounce it. And fresh caramel in the finished beer. That sounds fantastic. And the last one. New Glory Craft Brewing Purgatory Imperial Breakfast Stout with Perk. It makes me think it's got coffee in it. Uh, it is from this year, earlier this year. 13.1% ABV. This Imperial Stout might just be enough to wash away your sins. Uh, we work closely with Valiant Coffee Roasters, and there it is, to create a custom blend of coffee beans that complements the bold flavors of maple syrup and vanilla in this beer. Billy gets me. Billy gets me. We use golden naked oats to achieve the creamy, silky mouthfeel we all crave. Rich, intense, and just plain decadent. Some might say it's to die for. Uh, specialty ingredients, uh, valiant coffee beans, vanilla beans, maple syrup, and other natural flavors. 13.1% ABV. Cool, like Grim Reaper death on the front. I think I'm going to stick with it and say these, I'm going to guess Billy, these are the two you said are like two of your favorites. Let me know in the comments if I was right or wrong. Uh, have you guys had any of these beers before? Are you like, hey, do this one first. I'm super excited. Obviously, I'll review all of them and I try to do them relatively quickly. Uh, but is there one you're like, yes, it has to be this one. Uh, let me know in the comment section below or anything else you want to talk about. Uh, once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, Thanks again, Billy. Cheers. Or, and bye.